like I said, this video, everybody in the country's talking about it, uh, you know, the last couple of days now. So what I did yesterday is I got the Grant County Sheriff on, and I got to tell you, I found his name is Tom Jones. It's not unusual. Uh, Tom Jones came on with me yesterday because I wanted to see, is there something I'm missing and that Gavin Syme, the citizen in that video, is there something we're missing in our readings of the RCWs? But no, Sheriff Jones told me, and this is what has generated so much conversation since my talk yesterday, uh, that a sheriff in our state admitted to me, yeah, my guys are out there in violation of the law. I'm not going to pull 16 new cars off and risk public safety to the citizens of my county for a transitional period until these cars get striped. And I will tell you that in the week that... But but that is in violation. I mean, I, I read the RCW, and I don't see any exemption here. That would be in violation of state law then, right? It, it would, yes. Okay. Um, but also, if you read a little further, though, um, the violation is an internal issue, which is is disciplined by basically the agency um, of that jurisdiction. Well, but but how can you justify? I mean, just just because it's a transitional period, how can you justify your your deputies writing tickets in an unmarked vehicle if that is in violation of the law? I mean, I know you well, say that you don't want to let bad guys go, but you guys have to rigidly adhere to the law. Absolutely. I would agree. But they're not. And uh, and so we talked about this because I think that this is important, that I mean, his, his thing was the end justifies the means. We're not going to let bad guys go just because we haven't gotten the decals on our cars yet. It's one of those things where we have to continue to do our job. But, but Ga- Gavin makes the point, and I think it's a powerful one. I'm the father of three daughters. Sure. And he said if if somebody in an unmarked vehicle you know, lights up my daughter, and his daughter's not 16 yet. Mine all are. Mine are all driving. If sure. if somebody in an unmarked vehicle lights up one of my daughters on a, on a lonely country road, I wouldn't feel comfortable with them pulling over and just trusting that the person is who they purport to be. And that's why the law exists, right? And so isn't it a public safety issue that you guys refrain from pulling people over and writing tickets in vehicles if that if that vehicle is not in compliance with state law? Well, if you actually read the the uh, the RCW, though, it does give exemptions for those doing specialty details. Yeah, and but so, this, this, I mean, in my reading of the RCW, Sheriff, this uh, would certainly not seem to qualify under the intent of that exemption. That, I mean, a special detail is a special undercover patrol, not a routine traffic patrol. Right. <laughs> Sheriff! Who do you think you're dealing with here? Some chump talk show host? Which, by the way, most talk show hosts are. But but I actually read the law. And he said, well, there are exemptions for special details. Those exemptions are for undercover operations, not for just driving around handing out tickets. And, and but, but he said, again, and justifies the means. I will tell you that the, the example that I gave Mr. Syme when he says, um, okay, well, I just ask that you stop doing traffic stops. And so I gave him the example. Well, Mr. Syme, then you were a, a victim of a just a burglary that just occurred, and all the stolen property is taken out of your house, and you see the suspect car going away. Does it matter or not to you in the transitional period for our vehicles to get marked if an unmarked car stops that vehicle to get your property back or a marked vehicle? And he's like, well, good point. Mm. And so our folks aren't just out there um, just making traffic stops all day long in these unmarked cars. We're out there being visible. We're out there proactively patrolling. So I'd like to hear from you. Uh, drop me a D-mail, mynorthwest.com, the Dory Monson show page. The sheriff says that we don't want to let bad guys go because we haven't gotten the markings on our cars yet. I think we have to demand that our law enforcement is in compliance with state law, and I do think they should let the bad guys go. And by bad guys, I'm talking about speeders. I don't think there's anything that would prohibit them from getting a murder or a rapist using their their vehicles, but a uh, somebody who's speeding and writing a ticket. No, I think they should suspend doing that if their vehicles aren't in compliance with the law. But drop me a D mail, mynorthwest.com, Dory Monson show page. Let me know what you think. Okay, quick time out here, and then one of the most. Oh yeah, those sheriff. 
Tom Jones, by the way. It's not unusual to be loved by anyone. Tough to be loved when you're in law enforcement. It's not unusual to have fun. I do thank the Grant County Sheriff. Tom Jones for coming on with me on the big show.